Hey guys, welcome back. I changed things up a little bit for us. A little bit of change scenery for Valentine's Day. All right. <laughs> All right. So, welcome back. Today we are going to do fire signs. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sag, only take what resonates, leave the rest, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. You know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. Do talk dirty, maybe pulling some dirty time cards, sexy time cards. Uh, so if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity, just find your way out of the read. Come and get another day. All of my links are below for merch. I have a Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck, Sexy Time Oracle deck. I have uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, chakra healing attention candles over there. Venmo Jesse Ray 21 for uh, any donations, tip jar, whatever. And uh, my website, rootsandrewards.com. All right, enough with the spiel. Let's see what's going on between you and your, your person here. Hopefully this is not too loud. So what is going on with my fire signs? All right, so a little announcement. What I want to do something a little different. Want you guys, after this read, to write, or during this read, write down your name and a question that you want clarity on. Next week, the next time I do a fire sign read, I will pick one of the names from this from this video, one of the names and one of the questions next week, I will pick one of you guys and I'll pull a couple of cards at the end of the, the video and you'll be able to watch it. So that's a little way of me giving it, giving back to you guys um, a card pull at the end. So just put your name and what you're wanting to most clarity on. And then the next video next week under the fire signs or whatever element you are, write it whatever element at the end of that video, I'll then pull the cards and you can watch it over here. It's going to be public. So if you're okay with me digging into your shit on the public platform, put your name down. Okay. So you got, I'm feeling very heavy in my chest. So you might be having a little anxiety. Maybe, you know, you're under a lot of stress, fire send. You're under a lot of stress. You are, it uh, looks like you guys are releasing a karmic partner karmic partnership, uh, person that triggered you, there's some turmoil, some resentment between you guys, letting go and loving you. That's where you guys are going. Self-indulgence, yeah. You're working on your self-worth, uh, you're healing your, your shadows, and you're appreciating who you are now. So a lot of the focus is now on you guys. So self-indulgence, karmic relationship your person is possibly deeply hurt here also uh, by the connection ending and the separation so your person may be feeling a little lost right now they're grieving they're mourning the relationship with you okay so I do see someone here that may be liking you we'll see if that, if we go more into that. All right. So let's see. I was just on uh, Roots and Rewards Jesse Ray TikTok. So <coughs> I ran out of a little bit of energy over there. I'll try to rein it in for you guys. Okay. So you are protecting your energy now. You may want to go out and get some obsidian. This is gold dust obsidian. The frog eye is in there. So needing to protect your energy at all cost. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, oh, so there is someone here. There is someone here that's wanting to grow with you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. You can see that with the cups that are all have flowers and shit your person may be bringing you like a plant or a flower to you they're bringing they're offering 
They're offering kindness to you. Someone's offering you something, giving you a gift, fun flirting, possibly asking you out on a date with a gift in hand. Ooh, it's nice. Okay. All right, so this past partner, this karmic relationship that you're leaving, it could be an earth sign, Taurus Virgo Cap. This person feels like they're, they were flipped on their head with their stability and their finances. They are not very grounded right now or stable in their energy. Yeah, they would like you not to be greedy and withdrawn from them. Okay, but it looks like you want new beginnings somewhere else. You want something new for your life. You want to, you have clear direction on where you're going and you're, you, you've communicated this with this person that you're choosing yourself and you need to start something new. So it looks like you, you're being truthful with this person, truthful about how you're not being satisfied in this relationship. So you have to self indulge on your own. You have to go after what, what's truly going to make you happy. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. You're valuing yourself. Um, you're trying to stabilize. You're trying to become grounded here and, and become stable in your finances. So you could be going towards a new uh, career or new position that shows more value. Or you're, you are looking like you... Uh, yeah, you're holding on to your value here. Hmm. Emperor. Wow, okay. So you're on your way of, to growing your empire. You're growing an empire, an empire for yourself. So you really are, are growing into a very uh, mature person that is aware of your self-worth, your self-value. You're seeing this in yourself now. That's why you're stepping up and you're, you're trying to claim the fuck out of your life at this point. You're trying to go after your abundance. This person, this karmic partner was holding you back from your... your your empress emperor qualities could be an aries taurus virgo cap gemini aquarius libra so this this uh it was i feel like it was an earth sign for you guys both pentacles here so you might have been drawn away from this person because this person possibly would have worked a lot and they weren't giving enough they were more concerned with materialistic gain than loving on you all right so definitely self-indulgent that card is that's centering this shit you you working on you do you feel like as of right now, you feel like you can't really manifest what you want. It looks like you're wanting to take action towards somebody or towards something. But you're sitting inactive. You're sitting on your, your passion. Uh, on manifesting something new into you. So you're working on yourself, but you feel that you have to hold back uh, as far as going into you, uh, another relationship. You're wanting another relationship. You're wanting um, to be stable in your finances, but you feel that you're unable to manifest everything that you want right now, and you you can't take much action towards someone because you're not you're not totally there yet. You're not totally feeling uh, emperor, or your bank account's not showing emperor uh, intention, right? So I think you guys are holding back from moving towards 
a new person. You're still clearing away this old one. Yeah. Two of Swords. You kind of feel like stuck and blinded by what to do here. There's an Empress waiting on you. There's a, yeah. See? This Empress. So this may be you or this could be your, your karmic relationship. This person is feeling like they don't know what to fuck to do now. They don't know what to do. They're blindfolded. They, they're, you know, they're in conflict, mental conflict. You have an empress here, though, to match your emperor energy. Be it Taurus, Aries, Libra. This person is waiting on you. As I'm sitting here like this, this is what this person is doing, sitting there waiting on you to grow and mature and to come to them they're waiting for you to make a judgment call they're being patient this person's being very patient this is the person that you know wants to date you romance is blooming so you have another earth sign possibly coming into you or this person's already around you Who's this person? Yeah, this 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 karmic partner is just trying to come out of feeling victimized and coming out of feeling uh, yeah, coming out of the conflict, feeling victimized by you. This person may feel that you are a uh, narcissist, that you've used them that you you know you go around charming everybody they uh they feel that they've enabled you girl with the snake is there this person over here is the one that wants to grow with you that's this six of cups came out the first card first card came out it's coming out again So this person over here, this empress over here is, it doesn't matter about gender, male, female, it's energy, don't matter. This person is making a judgment call to wait, wait on you and to allow the connection to grow naturally, wanting it to grow, wanting it to bloom into something uh, nice. So you feel a little bit at a crossroads. I just saw the two of wands. Where was that? Two of wands, where are you? Oh, I saw it. It was here somewhere. Two of wands, it'll come back out. Um, so you're feeling at a crossroads right now. You're unable to move towards a person that you're wanting to because you're still just trying to stabilize your life very you're both being patient you're both waiting on another, each other it could be a Sagittarius you're both really wanting to pour into each other's cups this connection is evenly balanced this is a balanced connection you're both wanting to be abundant with one another you're both looking at each other as a blessing in each other's lives that you're both fortunate to have one another wanting that wheel to turn in your favor to bring abundance so being patient on turning that wheel to bring in that happiness there's going to be uh some messages of like feelings and love energy okay so this is going to be a quickie So what would, uh, let's see, what the karmic partner would like to say that they're unable to say. This is a soulmate connection on this side. Soulmate card flew out on top of this person that wants to come into you. What is this past person? Oh, this, <laughs> this new person. No, this one wants to say goodbye. This person may think about saying goodbye if you don't get your shit together quick enough. This person's been patient, but they're losing patience in waiting on you. You see, the Queen of Swords. 
the losing patience on waiting for you. Like, come on, let's hurry this up. We're soulmates, let's hurry this up, but I'm losing patience. So if I need to say bye to you, I will say goodbye to you. But then it doesn't seem like they want to cut you off. They don't want to cut you off. They're just setting boundaries with you, letting you know, you know, you got to put the work in. Uh, the karmic partner is going to be saying goodbye which they probably already have but you may still have some connection to that person your soulmate feels that you are a star you have star quality you shine you just you you're charming like your karmic partner said you are charming you're charmer um you have this really uh charismatic way about you take action towards things that you want you're better off without me yeah that's what you're saying to your karmic you're saying that to your karmic partner it fell on top of you you're better off without me so you feel that you don't have what you what this person needs you can't give this person what they need from you you may have once been able to do that but no longer don't break my heart. So this soulmate here is really concerned with you breaking their heart. Don't break my heart. Really concerned with you just abandoning them. Yeah, they don't want to get hurt. They feel like they're going to get hurt in this situation. Probably because you're, you're still connected. You've got a third party situation going on over here. That's a lot. Yeah. You're like, I want to leave towards you is in reverse. I'm seeing signs of you everywhere is in reverse. So you are really not paying much mind or attention to this past karmic partner. Uh, you, you may have let your ego get in the way of both of these connections. You may be, have quite an ego with that emperor card. Emperor is usually very, you know, cocky ego, very popular. So, yeah, you let your ego get away with it. Maybe you got involved with this person while you were still with your karmic partner. You're getting your ego stroked over here. You feel real good here. And then you allowed your, you know, the situation to distract you. Which your ego then ended that connection that wasn't working for you. All right. Wow, they want to talk and talk and talk. Give me a second. Oh, jeez. I'll pull out my damn back. <laughs> so you're saying to this person, we were toxic together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were toxic together. Please don't reach out to me. Leave me the fuck alone. That's what you're saying to this person. We were toxic. Uh, mm, yeah. We were toxic together. Your person is saying, you were good to me. Your person feels that you weren't good to them. It's in reverse. They don't feel that you were really good to them. So they feel they feel hurt. So now that they, they have to be like, you know, you're the enemy now. You, you were good to me in reverse. So they don't feel that you put in enough. Enough. This person over here, the soulmate, is missing you. I miss you. All right, so let's see. Let's do some sexy time and initials before I let you go. So interesting. I thought, yeah, you guys, you guys have been releasing this karmic partner for a couple weeks now. It takes time. It takes time. So this is the energy I'm picking up on. Um, but you are taking care of yourself now. And I, this, this person that you have around you is really, really loving on you and really caring about you and being patient with what you have to do in your life to make room for them. It looks like you're making room for this person. All right. Let's do sexy time. Let's see. sexy time this is my oracle deck it's 40 which free shipping if you're interested let's 
see what's the sexual and emotional dynamic, intimate messages from your person or you to your person. Smack my ass. Look in my eyes. All right, so you have a little bit of a frisky energy here, uh, but a very soulful connection. Like we said, it's a soulmate. So you guys really see each other on a soul level. Uh, this, I think you both have very beautiful eyes. You guys just melt when you have eye contact. It's really, uh, it feels like you have soul recognition with this person. Like it's deep. They could have like deep brown eyes, deep, you know, green eyes. Um, smack my ass. All right. So I also saw anal action. So someone is really wanting you to um, get uh, on the rear side of them. So they they like a little they like a little spice they like a little aggression down for threes all right so that could just be saying that third party situation or someone likes to bring other people in the bedroom for sexual pleasure deep penetration is uh, falling under uh, look in my eyes so this person does want to go very very deep with you they're wanting to feel it nice and deep in there or um you're wanting it nice and deep in there take it how it resonates for you tie me up and whip me <laughs> tie me up and whip me and smack my ass then give me deep pe anal penetration while looking in my eyes. And maybe somebody else looking on the cookie or the wand while doing it. <laughs> All right, okay. So I just got a visual. So it looks like you're gonna, someone's gonna be laying on you. You can reverse it you're going to be laying on someone and getting your anal action that way while this person has your arms pinned up to the headboard that's how I see it going down and they'll be smacking your ass as they hit it nice and deep while looking in your eyes that's how it's going down mm -mm. you got trouble <laughs> it feels good though it feels good energy third parties to the side this down for threes is to the side so i really do think that that's a third party not so much someone else coming in but it could be it could be i'll wrap my hands around your neck with love. See, this person is already in love with you. They're already deep in it with you. If they're waiting on you to leave someone else and straighten your shit out, this person gotta have unconditional love for you to be waiting around for you. You uh, show something very special to this person. Um, like the card said, you're a star. So this person really does see, see you as something that they can't release or let go of. So looking at you very highly, all right, let's see. Let's get some uh, initials. Right, initials to give you a little clarity, a little bit more clarity. See if this is your read. I see Frank. It's a long time coming. Long time coming. Let's see here. What signs are sticking out to the viewer? What signs could this person be or could the viewer be? Oh, shit. All right, so there's a lot of different signs. So sun, you could be a Leo. A person could also be a Leo. Neptune, Pisces. Leo, Leo here twice, heavy Leo energy. So it could be a Leo, Leo connection or this person has Leo in their chart. 
or they're just taking on uh, the Leo energy. They're really like confident and outgoing energy. Cancer, Virgo, Gemini. We did see Virgo. Did see Virgo. Cancer, Pisces. Person could have that in their chart. And Saturn, uh, Aquarius, I'm sorry. Uranus. All right, Leo, twice, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. People that you could be dealing with. All right. So this new person is taking you as you are. They aren't, um, they like what they see. So they know that you have your challenges. They know that you are flawed. But they also understand that they are also flawed. Flawed. So they're they're expecting you to see as. So this person is taking you as is, and you are also taking this person as is. So you may be broken, you may be wounded, you may have bad past, but I'm going to take you as you are. So nice. So nice. Okay. All right, your name could be Lou. Name's coming out a lot. All right, <laughs> L-O-U, let's see, M, E-Z. This per your person could be named Meg or Ma Mags person may drive a, a Mercedes Meg Meg all right got another oh that's a one all right five you can know this person for five years one year July 5th May 1st Terry Are. You could be renting a room. E E K. Keep. Keep the faith with this person. Percentage. So you may be um, splitting money with the person. E T. Teresa. You may like to play golf. Your person likes to play golf. T. Keep as is. Keep. 51. You may have a 15 year old daughter. You feel like this person is a gem. Gem. H H F You could feel like your karmic partner is an ass. You could be from Arizona. You could love gemstones or your person loves gemstones. Q. This could be same-sex partnership, lesbian couple, or gay couple. This person hits the spot for you. They make you feel good. This person may be older than you. Could be 57. Where's my bag of tricks? <laughs> N person may be named Nancy Danielle person could play saxophone or want to have sex sex I got sex yeah sexy time with this gem this person feels you they feel you oh gee 
this is a past maybe a friend old person old relationship that didn't spark up uh, YZ Yasmin somebody may have went to Notre Dame or from New Dorp or North Dakota N D Donna Don Dan Kevin Romeo Romario oh. All right, one more. W M W R R W R W feel like this person's a hottie maybe you're the hottie it's gonna get hot between you guys there's gonna be hot steamy sex between you guys you may take a trip to Arizona maybe Las Vegas Nevada and then go over to Arizona or start in Arizona and then go to Nevada taking a trip uh, you could have taken this trip in uh, to New York or New Year's Eve or you went to New Zealand. You may be from New Zealand. Yeah, yes. Yen, I don't know this name. BB. BB could be your name. Or you like baby clothing. Fran. Fee, you may be paying you may be paying off some debts, loans, percentage fee. You're paying something out here. H, hog, hog. Someone may feel like you're a mooch. PK, MR. All right, letters are M-R-E-K-5-1-S-E-X-S. A-S-S. <laughs> See? Ass sex. Anal sex. You can't, you can't make this up. Ass <laughs> sex, anal sex, L-O-U-G-E-M, hot, H-O-T, B-B, W-M, R-W, percentage, F-E-E-A-Z, Q-Q, D-N, H-O-G, Y-N-Z, and so to be continued with this person. Faye, also may be a name, Faye, Faye. Mountain, you could be going skiing or live on a mountain or see mountains in the view of where you live. You could have a deck or patio overlooking uh, the water. You could live by water. You could look, you could like going to Dairy Queen. Maybe you had a date to Dairy Queen or this person likes ice cream. Okay, my kid is being obnoxious up there. What else could we get from here? Somebody may be on Xanax. You could be an RN, a nurse, uh, working in the, or working for an ambulance, EMT worker, engineer. You could be very petite. DT. DT, TD, maybe you have a TD bank account. Anything else? RB, RB, ER, Burr, could be cold right now. Roger, Rod, Rodney, 
You could be a grandma. I see Gma. A name person here. A. Anissa. A R. Arlene. Could have a son. Your person may have a son. Anything else? Could have reflux less less i was thinking less mills i know they do something at my gym with less mills i don't know exactly what less mills is but it could just be the name less or leslie could be a name leslie here i just saw a dm so this could be Divine Masculine. Emily. Jocelyn. Anul. Anul. All right, so you could be Colombian, Dominican, Mexican, somewhere along those lines. It could even be Scandinavian. That's a wide, wide range, but yeah, some of you may have Scandinavian in your bloodline. I really, um, I'm just getting zoomed in to this. Okay, I'm gonna put them away. Where did I? My bag of tricks. I always lose my bag of tricks. Oh, and they're dumped out. So you're really done. You're 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 dumping away shit that just does not serve your higher purpose. You could have an allergy to soy. What else is down there? The whole bag. Eight years, three years, eleven years. Born nineteen seventy five. Uh, could have an E name. Enzo. Might be a little bit of envy around you right now. All right. Well, I'll pick that up after I end it with you guys. Let's see. Let's see. Lovers. Let's see. Emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so letting go of any past uh past resentment that you may have with this past partner clear it away and divine is telling you to trust oh look at that your person may be into graffiti or you're into graffiti or some type of art uh, trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so accepting you needing to release this person and accepting that you're wanting to go to another person and trusting that you'll end up with the person that uh, will bring you happiness or who you will be happy with let's say it that way who you will be happy with so trusting that there is something very special here for you to claim. Just giving yourself time uh, to heal, which you guys are doing it. You're getting your shit together. Playfulness, yeah. So right now, you're needing to be playful with this person. Playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, talking to one another, being affectionate with one another, have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. So you guys are really, you really mesh with this person. You really, you get along with this person and you feel the love energy off of them. And that's why you're being drawn to them so much. It may be um, an odd connection, right? Uh, maybe you weren't understanding the connection at one point, but it's a connection that has healing properties. So you're healing one another 
and being supportive. I feel like this person, I'm gonna start crying. I feel like this person does have your best interest and they're trying to make you feel um, safe and protected in their energy. This card is just really nice. It's, it's happy tears. But yeah, yeah, this, this is nice coming in. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Self-care. What you could do to help higher your frequency. I think you guys are pretty high, though, right now. Yeah, create art. Somebody does, somebody's an artist here. Somebody likes to craft. Maybe you're both very artistic or talented. Um, yeah, but maybe creating a different type of art, or maybe you haven't. Maybe you haven't painted. Maybe you haven't drawn um, in a minute because of all the chaos and drama and, you know, life struggles. Uh, but it's saying flow, flow easier now. Flow like water, allow your emotions to flow, allow the connection to unravel naturally. And just taking time to maybe cleanse yourself, taking a shower with some salt on the bottom of the tub or um, drinking some water with lemon to, you know, detox yourself and be still don't put too much pressure don't don't put too much responsibility on yourself now to create something that you truly do want so be still and don't uh don't rush into things very quickly take your time that love is there that love ain't going nowhere that it that's 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 a soul contract that you have with this person that's just not going nowhere and I say that very confidently because if this person is waiting for you to end another partnership, shit, there has to be something there. And write a gratitude list. Maybe you're needing to show more gratitude for what you do have. So uh, a way of showing gratitude is, you know, verbally appreciating people or giving, giving to people, giving an ear to them, giving uh, time to them, giving money you know to charities or doing charity work but showing your gratitude is a must a must a must a must if you're not feeling blessed bless others with your time attention or finances abundance planning that's where you are right now you're planning for your future you're fl planning for a better life for yourself and that is what i have for y'all Y'all come back again sometime. You may from be from the out west. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. Don't forget to put your name and the question you want more the most clarity on below. I'm going to pick one name, the one person I'm drawn to. Next week's fire sign uh, video, I will be doing a card pull for that one person that I choose. And this is going to happen on every single element. All right, you must be that sign for that element. All right, do I, should I do it that way? Yeah, I, I prefer it to be your sign, under your read, your sign. Um, so if this is resonating with you, go to your sign during the week, this week, and write your name under your, your element, okay? And that is it. Follow me, follow me over on uh, TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Instagram, Roots and Rewards. Instagram, Jesse Ray, one-stop realty shop for my real estate. I also have Thrifty Kitchen, Thrifty underscore kitchen. That's a plant-based page with plant-based ideas, motivational stuff, exercise stuff. My JK Photography page, if you're needing uh, photography done in New Jersey, uh, that's gonna start picking back up in um, the spring. Uh, I already have bookings coming in, so contact me if you are looking for portraits, family portraits, or even parties. I don't really like doing parties too much, but I do them. Uh, I like portraits, though. Family portraits, children's, newborn portraits. Uh, what else? And over here, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get the, these weekly reads. I love the feedback. I appreciate all the bookings and kind words you give me on a daily basis. And uh, that's it. 
So Earth Signs is gonna be next. Be patient with me getting your reads. I am working down my read list. The, the turnaround time for personal reads is usually two to three days, uh, if not sooner, depending where you fall on my list. And also all of the reads are uh, pre-recorded. You send me your info and I record it just like this. Okay, so it's not an in-person read. So if you go to my website and you try to book a read and the schedule, that's just putting you in my, my schedule. Uh, not necessarily the day that you're booking will be the day that you receive your read, okay? And that's it. I'll see you on the other side. Keep yourself in high regard, guys. Bye.